why uh, I hate this Peterbilt because number one. Okay, this is why I don't like this Peterbilt. <laughs> Sounds like this. <laughs> okay. The okay. whole day, you know, and you you like rev up the engine, you let it down a little bit, you can still hear it somewhere in the door in a panel. It's a brand new 2020. Why does it do that? And the old Volvo doesn't. I don't know. Uh, the second thing. Okay. Is this the third one? All right, the refrigerator door. Every time you open the latch, you feel like your giant hands are gonna break it. And your delicious kalbasa is gonna be stuck inside and you won't be able to eat it. So you're like, careful, 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 careful. It's not opening, I'm pulling so hard. Oh, now it's open. Thank God it didn't break. That's how you feel every time. You know, you'd have more leverage, by the way, if you put on this side, not in the middle. Maybe let's put it here so we can break it off right away, huh? But no, in the middle, they're like, you maybe will break it, but maybe not. Let's try it again. Will we break it? Will we break it? No, thank God. You know, every time you're like, it paranoids you. Oh, you got that bag that's kind of not needed to be around? Just throw it under the bed. Slide it on the floor under the bed. Wait a minute. There's like a panel here. You can't actually put stuff under the bed unless you lift the bed up. Come on, buddy. In the Volvo, there's like all this space. You're like, fine, we'll bury it under the bed instead of sliding it under the bed. So, not sure if I like that or not. So the next thing is this. I don't know what it is. Let's look and see what it is. What is it? It's like the cap to the sleeper. Um, whatever it is, connection, connector, um, frame, lip. So you always hit your head on it. I'll show you how. I'll let let me demonstrate. <laughs> so you got that load ready? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll snap right to it. <laughs> uh, let me go check on that reefer temperature. Ouch. Finally, now I'm gonna go rest. <laughs> yeah. Yay, finally made it. Now I could rest. Ouch. <laughs> oh wow, look at this fancy stereo. It has a home button settings button. Let's connect the Bluetooth. What? It's on? Why isn't it connected? Oh my goodness. What? What? I found not available. What? We've connected yesterday. Why do we have to connect today? What in the world? Seriously, the bass, even though you put it to manual equalization and you turn up the bass all the way, you still can't hear any bass. We have really nice auxiliary lights. Let me show you. turn it on or off however once you turn it on it still stays on and makes that annoying fan sound even though you flip the switch off it's on its own timer and it turns off whenever it thinks it's supposed to be off so you can't really sneak up on people quietly if you accidentally flip the switch and cool your engine down ahead of time the power lock button 
it only works like when you get out the door you can't push it and it won't let you lock the door and slam the door shut it thinks you're gonna lock yourself out of the vehicle so you could only lock it with a key it's for idiots you know of the 2000 and newer age what is this? What's going on here? Uh, the phone, the Bluetooth, this thing is bothering me. The, the blue, it's really bothering me. What is this? What is this? What is this? Nope, not our turn yet. Uh, uh, the light is too bright, so uh, you got to put your post it notes on there. It looks like this. Where is the switch? You can't even find the light switch, too. Like that. <laughs> so you dim it a little bit. The um, the phone microphone for the phone. If you use the Bluetooth system, people cannot hear you. I think it's behind this thing, and it's still not enough. And yeah, you can hit the panel brightness, and guess what? It's at its brightest right now, I bet. It doesn't even allow you to change it. Look at it, I'm hitting it. Okay, let's go home. Let's hit something. Let's hit gauges. And guess what? We're automatically at the brightest part. It doesn't even let you do the brightness. Come on, buddy. Before it let you. See, it's automatically at the brightest. And I've toned it down. My goodness, See, now it's doing a news glitch. Come on, buddy, I wanna, oh, now it dimmed. Now you dim it, okay? But then after like an hour or you shut the truck off, it's automatically bright again. Come on, buddy, if I set the radio to the one station, I want it to be at the same station, same with the brightness. You got your suspension load, you got your torque. Let's see if it, the engine has any torque now at idle. Oh yeah, see the torque jumped up. And you got your turbo boost. Very important gauge to look at. You just don't need it bright in your face. And it's kind of annoying that you can't keep an eye on your gauges at the same time as you're tuning the radio. Which is what you could do on every other truck that's old. You know what I mean? Like. I'm the kind of guy that likes to be in control of all this stuff and keep an eye on everything and change the radio stations. Biggest thing, most important, is this thing. It's for girls. Automatic transmission, come on. Why would you wanna hurt yourself like that? There's other ways you could hurt yourself than be dreaming of a gear that you need to make it up a hill and boom, it shifts it in the wrong gear for you. And you're like, no, computer, I didn't want that gear. And it's like, too bad, that's what I chose. So, yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, so aside from all those glitches, otherwise it's a great truck. It's, you know, if you could figure out those little things, there's a lot to enjoy. And this one's available if you want it. Low payments of 2,500 a month. I can get you loads that won't pay for it. And you could have nine or 10,000, maybe 12 or 15 left over every month, depending how you're trying.